हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बी एफ एक्सपर्ट सो गाइज दिस इज सेकंड क्लास ऑफ कंप्लीट कोर्स फॉर फ्यूजन सो इन दिस टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी बेसिक कंपोस्टिंग एंड एनिमेशन इनसाइड फ्यूजन सो इन दिस फ्यूजन आई हैव इंपोर्टेड सम मीडिया इनसाइड फ्यूजन देन सपोज इफ वांट टू इंपोर्ट एनी मीडिया देन यू कैन यूज दिस लोडर नोट और जस्ट सिंपली यू कैन ड्रैग एंड ड्रॉप एनी मीडिया फ्रॉम योर ब्राउजर विंडो इन दिस फ्यूजन हीयर then simply you can select and then drag and drop any media inside fusion like this as you can import any media inside fusion so all these things just i have explained in our previous class so first just i am going to switch this 12 viewer into single view here then simply we can click on this one here or just we have to select any media inside this nodes or node graph then simply we can press one so this is first one then this is second one here now again select this one press one So now first just I'm going to explain how we can merge or compose two images inside Fusion. So suppose just I want to compose these two images. So this is our actually first image and this is second image. So just I want to place uh, this ball image on top of this second image here. So first just select this ball image and just view inside this viewer here. Simply just we can drag and drop. So this ball image has alpha channel. So you can see here. So if you want to check. channels and simply we can press r r for red channel g for green channel b for blue channel and a for alpha channel so this ball image has this alpha channel here but if you will check this second image so this image has no alpha now again we have to press a so this will so you here in rgb mode here so if you are pressing maybe r then again you have to press r so this will so you here in rgb mode here so for composting or for merging two images inside fusion we need a merge node so on top of this nodes area or this uh, node graph area you will get some important nodes here okay? so we will use all these nodes while we will do composting inside fusion first how we can take uh, any node uh, inside fusion so first option if you, you are getting node on top of this node graph then simply you can select and just you can click so this will just add uh, this node in this node graph area here simply select and delete this one or just simply you can select any node on top of this node graph area select and drag and drop inside this node graph area or inside this flow area here so this is second option then third option so suppose if you are not getting any node on top of this node graph then you can click on this effects then go to this tools and just you can find your category according to a requirement like suppose if you want to use maybe a merge so just simply you can see this composite category then inside this we will get this merge node here then simply we can select and you drag and drop inside this node graph area so this is actually another method then next just uh, which is actually more appropriate which is just i am going to express we can press control plus space bar so this will give you this select node options here or this window here So inside this, you will get all available node inside Fusion. Then downside, simply you can type your node, whatever node you want to find or search. You suppose merge. So you will get this merge node here. Actually, uh, there are multiple merge nodes here. So this is mainly actually two uh, D merge node. Then we will get some three D merge node. Then part kill merge. So this is actually main merge node. So just we have to take this one here. Then simply we can. press enter or just we can again press control and space bar then we can find so again just we have to type merge simply just type merge and click on this add so this will add this merge node inside this node graph area so suppose if you have selected this one image and again you are just finding this node maybe merge and if you will click on this add so this will automatically connect selected nodes here inside this node graph area so just remember this one now just simply we have to delete so now for this time going to take merge node so simply just we can select and drag and drop so you can see this merge node so now in any node actually we are getting some input and output points here so like suppose uh, this is actually just a image or uh, just a media files here so in this media file we are getting a first one which is input point and this is node output inside this merge we are getting three input first this is orange input means this is actually background so whatever you will connect with this orange input 
so that will be background then this green input this is actually foreground and this blue input this mask input then last one this is our node output okay so whatever just we are getting then this is just outputting for next node so this is output so now just we have to compose these two images for this is this will be our background this will be our forward here so how we can compose so this image just i want to make a background so just we have to connect with this orange input here just we can select and just we can connect now suppose if you want to unplug this or if you want to break this connection then simply you can pick this one and just simply you can break like this okay. then second option just simply hold alt and just uh, pick output and just drag and drop on top of this or next node here so you will get this pop up window then you can select any input like background foreground or effect mask so suppose just i want to uh, connect with this background then we can select this background and next one just i want to make foreground then simply we can select and connect with this green now we have to view our composite or just we have to view this merge node then only we can see our composite so just we have to select this merge node so we can press one or you can drag and drop here so select this one press one so now you can see our composting so first here just i am going to save our project or comp so for this just simply have to click on this file then we have to click on save and just select your folder where you want to save your comp so in left side you can see on the directory then this pc then so this is our main folder now suppose here if you want to create any folder then simply we can click on this plus and just we can create folder now just select this one and delete so here i have already created then you can select this uh, folder fusion comp now downside just we have to give a name now we have to click save so like this just you can save your work inside fusion so now if you will combine or if you will compose two images using this merge node and if you will select this merge node so on the screen you will get this controller so with the help of this controller just we can control the foreground element so with the help of this just simply we can scale so just simply we can pick and just we can scale like this then we can move even in right side if we will select this merge node so in this inspector window so if uh, this is not visible then simply you can click on this inspector so here you can see this merge node which is just type selected here so whatever node you will select inside this uh, node graph so only that node parameter will be displayed here so now here i have selected this merge node so same thing just we are also getting in this parameter this is size so remember this one there is only effect foreground element so whatever foreground element you will connect with this merge node so that will only affect with this controller here then this angle so just we can rotate even on screen just we can move we can scale even if one you can just rotate so now suppose after this if you want to reset this node parameter so here in this parameter you will get this dot here so when you will click on this dot so this will reset this parameter is same age if you want to reset this angle then you can also click here so like this if you want you can just reset and adjust parameter inside this fusion here as here but in this center value or in the transform value actually i am not getting any dot or points here so how we can reset this center parameters here so simply just we can right click on this parameter or just you can right click on any parameter which you want to reset or set to default then simply right click here then just click on this set to default so this will reset this parameter to default value here but mainly in composting inside fusion we will not use this merge node controllers here so now suppose if you want to uh, transform your uh, foreground elements or this objects here so we will use transform node inside fusion so now suppose i want to transform this parameter maybe you want to change size rotation or if you want to move somewhere inside this scene here so we need a transform node so simply on top of this toolbar just we can select the transform node and just we can drag and drop and just we can connect in between this flow here so now if you will see so here i just type connected the transform node between this image and merge node here now just select and delete this one here second option suppose if you want to add transform in between so just we have to select this image or this node here then we can press control space bar and just we can type transform and just we can click on add so this will automatically connect in this flow here 
now third option just i am going to explain so just i have deleted this one here so now suppose if you have not selected any node and just simply we can press control a space bar and just we can take a transform node so now suppose if you want to connect this transform node after this image then we can hold shift key and just we can connect in between these two node here or in this tree here so you can see i have connected this this one here then after this just we will get same controllers here even in right side in our this inspector we will get this transform node parameters here now suppose if you want to change size for this foreground element then you can adjust this one then we can move even we can rotate here same as in this inspector window just we can use this size this angle even translate value we can also change so you can see this one here now suppose same as if you want to reset all these values then again you can right click here on any parameter and just you can click on this set to default so like this just you can uh, transform your foreground element in this composting now suppose after this suppose if you want to compose another element into the scene here so like this lamp here this one so now here this lamp also just i want to compose in this scene here so for this what we can do so simply we have to take another merge node here so again just we can take this merge node now in our this background or in our this orange input just we have to connect this merge node output here so simply just we can pick this one and just we have to connect here then in this foreground input just we have to connect this second element whichever this lamp here now just we can connect now just we have to view this merge 2 then we can select we can drag and drop here or just we can select and press 1 so you can see second element now same age i want to also just change size of this element so simply just we can pick this transform node and just we can connect it here then we can use this controller and just we can adjust this second elements here so like this if you want you can compose multiple elements inside fusion so now next thing just we are going to see this blue input which is about this mask input inside fusion so for this just we have to take a shape so simply just we can take this shape so we can just create shape with the help of this polygons but i have taken this circle or ellipse shape now if you will view this one so you will see so this is actually ellipse or you can see a circle here even if you want to create any shape then simply you can take this poly just unplug it here and just you can create another shape so simply just we can view and just you can create any shape so all these things just we will explain in our upcoming classes here but here simple just i have taken this basic shapes here now just delete this one here and again just we have to view this one here now press ctrl f so now if you will connect any mask with this blue input so this will affects on foreground so like suppose if you will connect this one here just you can connect like this so now if you will see so just select this circle so easily we can see so this is our actually object foreground object so now you can see so if you will place your circle here so you will not get anything because in this blue input we are using this mask so according to this mask area so this will cut out this foreground object so whatever foreground object you have connected uh, with this green input so this will only affect on foreground object so if you will move like this so this will affect this one here so this will just only affects on foreground elements in this merge node because in other node we will also get this uh, blue input so next i am going to explain this one suppose now just i can place it here now again control f we can take a blur node we can press control space bar and we can take blur so in this node you will get main this this is actually just background input this orange input and this is again effect mask or mask input so if you will connect this image with this blur node and just we have to view this blur then if you will change this blur value so you will see this one here so this is affecting now whole images so now if you will want to only affect maybe inside this area or outside this area so you can use this blue input or mask input here so again just i have taken this one then simply just we can connect it here so now you will see so this is just only affecting this shape area or this mask area here so now what we can do just simply we can invert it here just we can give a little bit soft edge so all these things just we will explain in details in our later classes 
just and just we can place it here this shape or mask and a little bit adjust this player value so just little bit now you can see so now if you press control p control p means pass through so this will node will not affect so you simply you can see so control p pass through even you can also on and off from here so now you can see so just type created this uh, little bit blur effect which is just affecting on edge edge not inside this area because just i am here using this mask so this blue input we will also use in our upcoming classes in composting so but just for only basic explanation just i have given all these examples here so in next class we will continue on same project and we will see basic animations and also we will see this keyframe and spline editor inside fusion so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching